19.7 seconds ago. Closing in on the end of the first five minute overtime. And the all important question, <coughs> do you foul? And avoid, you know, giving up a three point shot that ties it. And most coaches say no. They've all got a little formula on how many seconds are left. What the timeout situation is. In this case, both teams have timeouts remaining. Of course, you have to factor in the Clippers are not the best foul shooting team in the world. But if you can get the ball to Paul or Phillips, you'd be in good shape. Patty A will bring it up. I've always been in favor of fouling. Chalmers for three. Three foul, the Clippers have it. Oh, they got fouled Blake Griffin. They oh. got it to Phillips. Patty is saying it was Blake Griffin who was holding the ball. And that's what Batty is saying. The question is, how quickly did Blake hand the ball to Phillips before the foul was called? Well, Batty A, who may aspire to be a politician, but there's some politicking out there right now. Oh, Phillips has the ball right away. And, and if so, Batty A felt Blake Griffin, who didn't have the ball. Oh, it's not even a shooting foul? It was not. <laughs> well, get it into Phillips right away. Oh, they will. And they do. Trippers by three. Johnson put on a dribbling show ahead to Paul. Paul to the Andre. Good oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was and good. Get out of there, coach. Get him out. Get him out. Bulls drop out there. <laughs> Anyways, I'm watching the Clippers. Clippers won. They beat the Miami Heat. They beat the Miami Heat. Coach is mad. Chris Paul will shoot a team. When did the Clippers get to play Miami again? <laughs> Sometime in the 2012-13 season. Now, Toronto Butler's going to go up and shoot the team. What about the NBA Finals, partner? That would work for me. If this is any preview, it would sure work for me. I thought you had back to the season. Well, look, That's a nice pass. There. Maybe Paul got rid of it too soon. But those free throw is good. The Clippers. About to go five and three, third of their biggest win of the year against the Miami Heat. What, what, what a game. They were five and oh on the road before losing last night in overtime. And, and come here, and they're about to lose in overtime again. And it's not That's game. what happens when you come to the LA. You get beat. On the road. Held to 23. I mean, he's been pretty good. 23 points, 13 rebounds, 7 assists. Yeah, take nothing away from him. Yeah. He's still the best player in the game. The Clippers get 20 plus from three. Butler with 20. Griffin with 20. Paul with 27. Now look how quickly he got it into Phillips. They don't want to foul him. They are going to foul Paul, but does he get rid of the ball? And that's when it says Eric Spolster. He says, we fouled Chris Paul right then with about seven or eight seconds. Well, it's academic now. The Clippers lead it by six with 5.6 seconds to go. I'll tell you what, the Clippers caught up right because the referees handed them the ball and they got it into Billups. And you know they did not want to foul Billups. So Boss clearly fouled Chris Powell. Now, DJ's a guy they'd love to foul, but uh, they couldn't get close to him. The Heat will bring it in. LeBron James comes away. He'll fire an uncontested three ball. Ball gets the rebound. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. The Los Angeles Clippers defeat the Miami. We won. We won. Raven Butler, former teammates. Only meeting in the year between the two, I'm sorry to say. LeBron James congratulating all the Clippers. I'll tell you what, kind of a classy conclusion to this game. Our home depot player of the game, Chris Paul. What a show for him. And Ralph, a game like that with all those plays down the stretch, it could have got out of hand with emotions and tempers. Both teams showing a lot of class. 
a great night of NBA basketball here at Staples Center before a crowd of 19,341. The final score in overtime, the Clippers defeat the Miami Heat, 95-89. Clippers Live starts right now. Don't miss it. Let's go over to Dane Blanton, standing by with Blake Griffin and Karan Butler. Blake, an unbelievable finish here in overtime. Everyone talking about this game being a test. Obviously, you passed it, but how would you evaluate the performance? Uh, you know, I thought we did a great job of fighting back in the second half. Um, Chris was unbelievable. You know, he, he led our team, and the guy stepped up, Ron stepped up, DJ, everybody stepped up, and um, you know, that's what counts. What was so important in the end? They were effective throughout the game, but in the end, you started to shut them down. What did you guys alter defensively? Uh, we just played solid D. We were on our rotations. Uh, we contested almost every shot. Um, you know, they didn't get a whole lot of wide open looks, and, and that's great. It's like, it's a physical game out there. Is that the type of game that you love to play? Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, I think a, a physical game works to my advantage. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I didn't get shots tonight for my team, but all my other teammates stepped up and did an you know, amazing job. Thank Thanks a lot. Karan Butler, 20 points for you. You just quietly go about your business, always putting up strong numbers. What was it about?